Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. So I'm here today with another purse video. I wanna to dedicate today to my top favorite Tory Burch handbags. I have always loved the brand Tory Burch. I love buying things from their boutique and the online store, but I also love items from their outlet. They have really great unbeatable prices and great offers also at the outlet. So I do have one of the outlet bags that I always love and I gravitate towards that line. And then of course my favorites from the website and the ones that I use and love the most. So we better get started with my top favorite Tory Burch handbags. So the very first Tory Burch handbag line you can find at the outlet store. This is pretty much the only one from the outlet that I'm going to share because there are others that I love but I just never find them anymore and I feel like this line you can still find. I think it's called the Britain or the Brighton line. This is this one is that I got at the outlet. I love this cognac type of color. This is also one of my go-to type of colors. They have this in this longer size. They also have a shorter size like this. Here is another model that I also purchased. This one I ended up getting, I think, earlier this year. And I just think it is a very beautiful line of handbags. And they have different models. They have more like wallet on chains. They have all different sizes. I believe I've even seen like totes and backpacks. So this is a line that I feel like I always see at the outlet. I used to also always love the Thea line. They do have some Thea's at the outlet, but they don't have the ones that I love the most. I remember like maybe four years ago or three to four years ago, I found these clutches that were beautiful and these like shoulder bags that were beautiful and I have not seen those. So those I didn't want to share just because I didn't think you can get them anymore. But this Britain line, I just really, really like and I think they're very versatile handbags. You can use them. I love how it has, you know, the straps that you can use um, crossbody or you can use it on the shoulder. They are very roomy purses, very nicely to organize. You have a bunch of different pockets. You have a zipper. It is just really, really great. This one is a nice big one. It fits a lot of stuff in here, but it is very comfortable and it's also not like a huge, huge bag. They also have one that's like a little bit longer and more like square. This one is more rectangular. Like the newer one, this is a smaller size. Like I said, the same thing. You can use the strap, you can use it cross body, you can use it on the shoulder. Also has a pocket in the back. You just, it's just very, very comfortable handbags. It fits a ton of stuff. It has really nice pockets for organizing your things. You know, you have like slimmer pockets where you can probably fit your phone, the main pocket in the middle, something with a zipper. So this is just a really nice line of Tory Burch handbags that you can get at the outlet for a really big discounted price. In the Britain bags, the hardware is the matte hardware. This is like the gold matte, which is like more yellow type of gold, which is the one that I like the most. And this one is the matte version. So this one and the cognac one have that matte type of gold. I also have one that's like a taupe that I just want to share. And the, you know, the hardware is silver, but it's like also a matte type of silver color. Same size as this one, but in a taupe color. The next one I would have to say is my number one favorite style of Tory Burch handbags. And this one is the Fleming. This is the regular Fleming, not the soft Fleming. I just don't like the look of the soft Fleming for some reason. I like this one. I have two versions. I have the older version in the black and then the newer version in the cognac color. This is like my go-to favorite color, but you can see the differences um, of the two handbags, especially here at the bottom, whereas this one has, I guess like these, you know, the little squares are very different than you see them here. So this is like an older version, and then there are also some slight differences in the back of the bag. So you see how the squares are a little bit different. This is like the more newer style. Something with Tori that I notice is that not all of them have the same gold of the chain. This is a type of gold that I like the most, the more shiny, 
um, golden type of gold. I don't like the rusty, burnt type of gold. But this purse I love so much. This is one that I've used a lot for travel. This, this one has like the big main compartment. It also has like a little sleeve pocket here, like two, and then it also has a zipper pocket. It has the metallic type of clasp. It also has a back pocket right here, very comfortable for your cell phone. Again, very versatile strap. You can use it on the shoulder. You can use it cross body. And I just think that you cannot go wrong with this cognac color. I don't know if they still have the color. If they do, I'll go ahead and, you know, share it down below. I don't think it's called cognac. It has another name, but I'll make sure to write the correct name in the description box. And then the black one is just the very first Fleming that I got. But this is, again, like the older model. But the inside is very, very similar. This one also has a strap that you can use. Actually, look, here's a difference. There's a little bit of a difference with like the leather part of the strap. Um, it's a little bit longer in the older version than in the newer version. As you can see right here, look at the... See, the brown one ends here and the other one is just really, really long. So you see that one is a little bit longer. You can definitely see how more modern the new one is. But I mean, it just maintains so well. It doesn't have many scratches on it. It does have a few just because it is like the more sleek leather. I think that's why a lot of people like the soft Fleming more just because you know since it doesn't have that smooth leather you really don't see that much wear and tear whereas in these you technically can even though the brown one this cognac one i have used a lot and i don't have one scratch so maybe the newer version is a little bit more sturdy than the older version but fleming definitely is my number one go-to model from tori birch i love the fleming model so much that i also have the smaller fleming this one is the exact same color as this one here you see the size difference of the two so you can compare them both but i just it's so hard for me to find the perfect cognac brown and this one is the perfect tan type of color for me. This one is the newer version and I also have the navy blue in the older version. So again, you can tell the difference of which one is a little bit more modern. So this is the navy one and then this is the tan one. Here you see the slight differences. I feel like the older version fit more inside than the newer version. This is what it looks like on the inside. Um, again, it has the same strap. You can also use it shoulder length or cross body. That's what I like so much about these chains that you can just use them in so many different ways. And while this one seems a little bit more sturdy, it also has the the magnetic clasp where the old one has like the button that you actually have to match you know the button for it to like close the new version has the more magnetic that just closes a lot easier um this one does fit a little bit less very very little but it is just such a beautiful and sturdy handbag i just think it's so pretty like this color is to die for to me this is like my go-to tori birch color that she has ever released and that's why i wanted it in both sizes because i feel like once a color is gone it's very hard to get it back so i wanted to make sure i didn't regret not getting it but here you see it side by side and the new version is definitely more modernized it even seems a little bit like does it even seem a little bit thicker you see how this one just doesn't get wrinkled and this one does get a little bit more wrinkled it's just because it's like a i feel like the leather is a little bit like stiffer so it maintains its shape a little bit more than this one like this one is less less squishable than this one is my next favorite is the kira this is the kira handbag and this is one that came out like i had mentioned earlier usually the kira has more of that like burnt type of gold in the straps which i didn't really love all that much and they released one, this one i think it was called like the is it the powder or something where it's like black on black the chain is black the emblem is also black all like the same color and i thought that that was so cool and unique this one is definitely softer type of leather than the Fleming. It fits so much. This would be like an amazing travel 
type of handbag. And speaking of travel, I just found like a hotel room key in here. Um, look at the inside of the bag. You fit a lot in here, it's like material. You do have a bunch of different pockets on the inside, a big zipper in the middle. You have stuff to put on one side, stuff on the other side. It is just a very nice and comfortable handbag. This one also has like the little button that you have to kind of like, you know, fit to it for it to close properly. The strap, the same thing. You can use it on your shoulder or you can use it cross body. It just, it's a very comfortable and soft bag. I don't know if you can still get the matte type of black chain, but you can definitely get a ton of colors of the Kira. This is probably like one of their best sellers that they have. And um, it's very soft and comfortable. The between the Kira and the Fleming is very different. Like this one is much more structured type of leather. This one is a lot more softy type of leather. Beautiful, you can tell that they're really great quality leathers, really great quality handbags. Again, this is one that I have used and abused. You do see some wear and tear a little bit here just because since it does wrinkle. And like I said, I love that they came up with this model, the black on black type of thing. I really wanted a Kira, but I just had never bought one because the burnt color of the chain, I just really did not like. Let me show you what I mean. So this smaller is like type of Kira handbag, and this one has like more burnt type of gold chain. I just don't like it as much as I like the chain for the other. Like right here, you see the chain of the Fleming, and here is the chain of the small Kira. You see the difference? It's like a different gold. And then this one, it almost seems like, you know, I feel like it looks like, oh, you know, the purse changed color because it's older and the gold has kind of transitioned to a different, darker type of rusty gold. So that's just why I just had not bought it, but I wanted to share with you guys. It's like the more rusty type of gold. So and the last one I want to share with you guys is also from the Kira line. This is the Circle Kira. I actually haven't seen this one anymore on the website. This one I found at Nordstrom. I had never seen the brown on the website. The website did have a green that I loved that I ended up getting. It was like an asparagus type of green color. I also love this one because the gold was very, very different. It was not the burnt gold that I just told you about. This is more like a matte type of gold and it's more like a true true gold yellow color not the more like rusty one so i thought it was very unique it fits a lot in here it's a really nice interior it also has a pocket in the back that you can just like throw your cell phone in there my cell phone wouldn't fit probably sideways but it will fit like standing up and down and then it has like a little pocket here with a zipper another little sleeve pocket in there but you can definitely fit a lot and i just thought it was very unique I really didn't have any brown handbags and I never ever had a circle handbag. So I thought that this circle handbag is like that very classic type of circle handbags that, you know, they used to have back in the day. Like I've seen like beautiful Chanel circle bags. I know Louis Vuitton has a really nice little circle bag as well. So I really wanted one. This is the one that I ended up grabbing from Tory Burch. Same thing, this one has a strap and it has the main part at the top is leather. And then you have the chain section right here, but you can also, you know, adjust it to kind of wear it on the shoulder. I like to personally wear it cross body but it is very, very beautiful. If you get them at the boutiques or online, you do get the really pretty dust bags from Tory Burch. This is a smaller type of dust bag, and this is the bigger dust bag. It has like that design up on top. If you get them at the outlets, you don't get a dust bag, you just get the bag. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my favorite Tory Burch handbags. If you have another brand that you would like me to share my favorites from, please let me know in the comments down below. As always, Always, I want to say thank you thank you so much for watching be lounge makeup don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go and I will talk to you very very soon bye